A man who's holding on his deen is like someone who's holding a piece of fire in his hand. This is how much valuable the deen is. And for the sisters to give the deen in order to have a man You're taking a cheap, a cheap thing compared with the next life. Don't do it, my daughter. Don't. I want to see you in Jannah. And you want a partner who will help you to get to Jannah. Why did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells you that a woman is asked in marriage because of four reasons. Beauty, wealth, lineage, and deen. Take the deen. In closing, a lot of these women who fall into this trap, they do fall under the illusion of I love him. Wait another year or two. What is love? Love is the act of the heart. And you know what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who directs your heart to love this and not to love this. You have no control over it. Can you tell your heart, please love Abdullah? My heart, love Abdullah. Can you do that? Wallah, man. Inna quluba bani Adam. The hearts of the children of Adam are two between fingers of the fingers of Allah. Don't try to visualize them. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, ma ghirtu. Aisha. We know how much she loved the Prophet She said, min I have never been jealous from a woman more than my jealousy from Khadija. Tab, where is Khadija? Where is Khadija? Matat Khadija, radiyallahu anha, ummul mu'mineen. The Prophet married his women his wives, Ummuhatul Mu'mineen, the mothers of the believers, after the death of Khadija. He did not have a second wife with Khadija, no. Here's Khadija is dead and Aisha is jealous of her. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he hears her sister, Hala, that's her name, by the door speaking, Yarta, he shakes like this. Oh, Allahumma hala, this is hala. Her voice is very similar to the voice of Khadija. Call her. And when he slaughters a sheep, he would ask his wives, Hal a'ataytunna sawahib Khadija? Did he give some of that meat to the friends of Khadija? Aisha got tired of hearing this. وَمَا بِكَ وَمَا خَدِيجَ حَمْرَاءُ الشِّدْقَيْنِ أَبْدَلَكَ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا Why are you talking about Khadija all the time? Allah giving you much better wives than her. Here is the statement that I'm looking for. 
يا عائشة لقد رزقت حبها Her love was placed in my heart These are all illusions I love him, I love her Happy family That's illusions can I tell you a real life story? I, I want to stop, but I, can I tell you a, a real life story quickly? And this is something that happened in Egypt. Just to let you know that the issue of love, a very righteous man, Sheikh, fi Qariya. I think in, in the countryside kind of thing. His son traveled to UAE. United Arab Emirates to work and he stayed there for 20 years working making money making money making money making money he never got married he told his father my father please choose a wife for me I trust your call and go ahead and put the marriage contract together I won't arrive at the airport she is my wife, end of story, I don't want to see her. Real story, this has happened. Of course, the father chose a very righteous woman, but yet not very beautiful, or not beautiful, to say the least. The son arrived from the airport immediately to the bedroom. He was shocked, to say the least. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a, <laughs> if you go buy a watermelon, normally, you, you know, you, the person tells you, are you sure it's red? <laughs> it's on you. Countability on you. And you take it home, you open it white. You take it back to him. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. That's not my watermelon. He became so disappointed, depressed, what we would say depressed. Here I am working for 20 years, working hard to have that dream life, and here is my father. He went to sleep. Towards the end of يعني, the last third of the night, this wife comes to wake him up. He did not wake up. And then she sprinkles water on him. He waked up and she tells him this. By Allah, I know I'm not beautiful. I know you're disappointed. But I always wanted to get married for one reason. I always read the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. رحم الله رجلا قام من الليل فصلى May Allah have mercy on a man who wakes up to pray tahajjud ثم أيقظ أهله Then he would try to wake up his wife to pray and if she does not pray then he would sprinkle water to wake her up ورحم الله امرأة and may Allah have mercy on a wife قامت من الليل she woke up to pray تهجد at night ثم أيقظت ثم أيقظت زوجها then she tried to wake her husband up 
and he did not wake up, then she would sprinkle water on him. Please, I just finished praying tahajjud, and I sprinkled water on you to wake up, to pray with me, to lead me in tahajjud. Do this, and in the morning divorce me. But please fulfill that wish for me, please. He led her in salah. Couple of rak'ahs. Yuqsim hadha ar-rajul. He swears by Allah. After I said, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. I looked at this woman as if I'm seeing the most beautiful woman in the face of this earth. What are you talking about? Love and all that stuff, akhi. The sci-fi stuff. Shughul shayateen had don't be deluded, my dear daughters, my dear sisters. Teach your daughters that. That love is a given. Something that is placed in, in your heart by Allah. Jazakumullahu khaira, aqulu qawli hadha, wa astaghfirullah li wa